On March 6, 1931, the Women's Club in Grays Lake collected 100 books to start the first Grays Lake Library. Since it began in the Depression, it was very successful because people couldn't afford to buy their own books. Rather, they could borrow them from the library. Over the next 11 years, donations of money and books were collected to help the library rent space, as well as host different programs. The women who worked to make this library did so as a volunteering job, rather than a full-time job, and the Gelton Factory in Grays Lake helped fund the Grays Lake Library. By 1931, the Grays Lake Library was open as a small section in the Grays Lake Times office. It had 1,100 books in their possession in 1938, and eventually in 1941, the library asked the Village Board to become a tax-funded institution. In 1990, the library became the double storefront, however it would soon be realized to be too small for all the books. Thus, around 1993, residents of the Grayslake community voted on a $4.5 million bond to build a new building for the Grayslake Library. The next year, residents began protesting to not put the library on the southeast corner of Seymour Avenue and Center Street, afraid the location would interfere with the train tracks which are also being laid at the time. Later, in 1994, it was decided to put the library on the south end of Central Park, where the library currently stands. The doors officially opened on January 6, 1997. Since then, the library has proven to be very beneficial to the Grays Lake community. It offers multiple youth programs, such as a chess club, a summer reading club, and a group for the National Novel Writing Month. It services over 27,000 patrons with computer access, meeting rooms, quiet study rooms, DVDs, and of course, books. Ranging from toddler to adult level and leisure to scholarly, there is a book here to help them all. They also provide a newsletter so patrons know all the activities happening and any administrative changes. In conclusion, the library offers a safe space for everyone in the community and has a wide variety of books to rent out. It makes a wonderful place for people to meet and offers a timeless activity, reading. <laughs>